This is the digital drawing assignment, and you can choose to draw a human or a pet as your subject. And so the first thing to do is in a browser tab, um, put in the words sketch.io. And this is the program that we're gonna use. Then go to English, and it'll open up a new drawing surface. And you can go ahead and like X out of things like that, because those are unnecessary. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to pull in an image to work with. And this can be of a person or of a pet. And so you do need to have the picture on your computer's hard drive to pull in. So if you find a picture on the internet, that's fine. And you can, um, you know, save it onto your computer's hard drive. Or if you have a picture on your phone, you just need to get it on your computer somehow to use. So to pull in a picture, you go to this creepy smiley face and it says clip art and go to load your own image. We also want to put this paint into layer as on because we want that to be kind of the first layer that we work with. So make sure that that looks like that and then click the load your own image. And I have a picture of my dog I'm gonna work with and it's down in my images. So I'm gonna find it, here it is. And there she is, great. So um, now <laughs> you can press this, this pressing this uh, arrow will always like get you out of whatever you are doing. So now we are going to um, choose a pencil tool and we're gonna choose not to paint into layer. <laughs> so it's really kind of confusing. <laughs> so the first time um, we did the opposite and now we want paint into layer off and we wanna choose a pencil. And there are actually a lot of things to choose on this, but pencil is just fine because what we're going to effectively do is trace the lines of our pet or human that we see. So um, two point is a good size um, to work with. That's just fine. And these presets are just fine. And I do want to just use black right now on purpose. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So... Um, that'll help me. And then, whoa, that was a lot of zooming. And then um, you can always go back to your um, your um, um, arrow tool up here to um, get out of whatever you're doing and start to do something else. So back to the pencil here. I'm happy with the pencil. And now I'm going to start just tracing my dog. So I'm tracing, using my best with my trackpad on my computer. So I've got her ear and I'm gonna trace um, major areas of shading as well. And I'm just going to carefully go around my dog And this is pretty tedious and it takes a long time. It's not supposed to be easy. And depending on your picture, it'll kind of depend on how long this takes you. And my dog is obviously black. And so it makes it a little extra hard to kind of see what I'm doing on some places. but I'm eventually gonna trace my whole entire dog. Over here on the layers, this little spot up here shows different layers and it shows everything that I've done so far. So if I want to um, kind of see what I've done so far with contrast, I'm gonna actually um, put hide for um, the picture. And we are actually gonna hide our picture later because we're not gonna use that layer. And isn't that cool? It kind of shows everything I've done. So we're basically digital tracing at this point. So um, I'm not gonna do a screencastify of the entire um, tracing step. So um, after I do the tracing, I'll come in with some more video. At this point, I finished tracing all of the lines of my dog. And I'm purposely not doing the background because 
for one, it's really complicated. And for two, I just really want the portrait to focus on the dog and I'll do something unique with color in the background instead. So at this point, to see your progress on your drawing, go over to the layers and it'll give you like every single <laughs> pencil stroke you did on the whole thing. So we're gonna do a couple of things to kind of clean this up. Um, number one, go ahead and make your clip art invisible so you can see if um, your, your drawing is kind of complete. I'm gonna take a moment to kind of connect a few lines because for the color fill um, section, it's gonna be a lot better if I have um, some lines all the way connected and um, it's very hard to see these if you um, have your background in there so this is looking pretty good okay I'm pretty happy with that so I'm going to do something to make my uh, layers a little bit more organized and I am going to press um, the control key and go ahead and highlight all of these layers and you can actually maybe use your up arrow to just um, highlight all of these a little bit quicker. What I like about this program too is it auto saves all your steps so um, your Nothing will ever get lost on this drawing because it auto saves. But I'm just going to be um, careful to kind of get all of those highlighted. And then in um, this option, press those three dots and then put group. And it will just put all of those in a group together. And it looks like I actually kind of um, forgot a couple lines. So <laughs> I'm going to regroup. So group all those pencil lines together so it makes it a bit more organized at this point so now you can be creative with some drawing tools one thing i'm going to do on mine is add a background to it that's more simple and i'm going to make a horizon line in the background where it looks like land is meeting sky just so it gives the dog like a little bit of um kind of perspective and i'm going to choose um one of these path lines i think it's called and and I'm gonna make like a flat, eh, that's not the one I wanted. Bell's ringing, you can hear that. <laughs> I better stop this demo right here and come back to it. But I'm gonna make a horizon line like this. And I'm gonna do that by using this path tool and kind of uh, paying attention to where I am on the transparent background lines. There we go. So now she looks like she is um, like sitting on land almost. Okay, I'll come back in with l some um, colors when I can um, after this class. Now from this point, I'm gonna start filling in areas of color and you can use the paint bucket tool and change it to, make sure it's on pixel fill instead of vector fill. And this is the color choices right here. and um, the overall theme that I want to go with with mine is like greens and browns, kind of like a classic camo. And so um, I'm just going to start filling some different areas with the paint bucket tool. And I'm going to keep all the other presets the same on this. And this is kind of how that goes. So now I have a little background. I'm going to do a bit of a darker green, maybe for the, um, gr oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> Then I'm going to fill a different area. Fill the bottom. Awesome. Um, and I'm going to pay attention to kind of the lightest and darkest parts of the dog to pick values of colors that are kind of light and dark. And it'll end up looking like a Shepherd Fairy or an Andy Warhol kind of style of, of portrait. So. I'm gonna pick, oops, that's not what I meant to do. If you do con, uh, control Z, that's always um, an undo. So that's a good lesson in undoing. So you can try that. Again, not what I meant to do. 
I wanted the darker color for that. All right. I'm gonna get out of this. And just little by little, go through and pick different colors for different um, parts that I'm wanting to color in. So these are all highlights that I know are kind of a light value for my picture. Don't like that. I need to do a little bit more line work there. All right, now I'm gonna pick another color for some more sections. Maybe this darker color for some medium kind of stuff. But you get the idea that I'm just kind of choosing some different values for some different sections. And that's not different enough. I'm going to take that out. I think I'm going to introduce some brown as well. Maybe that color is kind of cool. It's also a darker value, which is good. And I know I need to do a little bit more pencil work on here because I didn't get um, the section completed that I needed. So if that happens, you might have to fix something a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of black and brown, but you get the idea here. Maybe a little darker. Okay, now that I'm happy with my dog portrait, I want to export it and save it so that I can um, put it on my website and turn in. So the way that you'll do that is you'll go down to this um, disk thing right here, and it gives you some export options. And we are going to download these as JPEGs because a raster file like we just did is best as a JPEG when it's saved and, and downloaded. So go ahead and do that and it'll go into your downloads folder and then you can add it to your website and turn it in normally.